Energy released in nuclear fission The amount of energy released in nuclear fission may be obtained by the method known as mass defect method. Here, 92 represents the atomic number and 235 represents the atomic weight of uranium. The fission of uranium, 235, can be represented as 92 uranium 235 plus neutron gives rise to 56 barium 141 plus 36 krypton 92 plus 3 neutron plus Q energy. Before the reaction, mass of 92 uranium 235 equals to 235 point 0439 atomic mass unit mass of neutron equals to 1.0087 atomic mass unit total mass equals to 236.0526 atomic mass unit after the reaction mass of 56 barium 141 equals to 140 point 9129 atomic mass unit mass of 36 krypton 92 equals to 91.8973 atomic mass unit mass of 3 neutron equals to 3.0261 atomic mass unit total mass equals to 235.8373 8373 atomic mass unit mass defect equals to 0 0.2153 atomic mass unit since one atomic mass unit is equal to 931.5 mega electron volts therefore the energy released is equal to 931.5 into 0. 2153 is equal to 200.55 nearer to 200 mega electron volts. Thus, in the process of fission of one nucleus of uranium, about 200 mega electron volts energy is released. Energy released by one gram of uranium. Number of atoms in one gram of 92 uranium 235 equals to Avogadro number by atomic weight equals to 6.023 into 10 power 23 by 235 energy released per fission equals to 200 mega electron volts energy released on fission of 1 gram of 92 uranium 235 equals to 6.023 into 10 power 23 by 235 into 200 mega electron volt equals to 6.023 into 10 power 23 into 200 by 235 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 13 joules or watt second equals to 6.023 into 10 power 23 into 200 into 1.6 into 10 power minus 13 by 235 into 1000 kilowatt second 6.023 Zero two three into ten power twenty three into two hundred into one point six into ten power minus thirteen by two hundred thirty five into one thousand into three thousand six hundred kilowatt hour equals to two point two seven eight into ten power four kilowatt hour thus the energy disintegration of one gram of uranium produces energy 2.278 into 10 power 4 kilowatt hour. Due to this reason, 
atomic energy is being used for the generation of electricity. Chain reaction are of two types. A. Uncontrolled chain reaction. In this chain reaction, more than one of the neutrons produced in a particular fission cause further fissions so that the number of fissions increases very rapidly. Therefore, an enormous amount of energy is released within a very short interval of time and is released as a violent explosion. This is actually what happens in an atom bomb. B. Control chain reaction. If only one of the neutrons produced in each fission is able to cause further fission, then the process is slow and the energy is released steady. Such a chain reaction is called as control chain reaction. The energy released in this process can be utilized for peaceful purposes. This is actually what happens in nuclear reactor. The condition of chain reaction may also be expressed by reproduction factor. The ratio between the rates of emission of neutrons to the rate of loss of neutrons is called reproduction factor. If the reproduction factor is greater than or equal to 1, then the chain reaction would take place. If this value is unity, the chain reaction is said to be steady.